It's hat-tricks galore in the Premier League this weekend. Sonny Boy for Tottenham, 18-year-old Evan Ferguson, and of course the main man himself, Erling Haaland. And after Manchester United's disappointing 3-1 loss at the Emirates, Jadon Sancho is royally, royally um, miffed off. Let's just put it like that, all right? Football filling, baby. Come on. Miffed, I said, by the way, an M-I-F-F-E-D, miffed. I thought you said muffed. No, I didn't say muffed, I said miffed. It means like he's annoyed, yeah? Nothing wrong with being muffed. We'll, we'll talk about it in a minute, we'll talk about it in a minute. I want to talk about the hat-tricks first, so, so Sonny boy, Son Aldo. Yeah. Um, it was his 105th Premier League goal this weekend. Um, has he taken over that mantle from Harry Kane? Because Tottenham at this minute just le- seem to be... There's just so much more energy and vibrance, do you know what I mean? I do know what you. I know what you mean. I know do you mean. know what you mean? I, mean, I, I bloody mean. know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. What you mean. Um, no, I think that the best place for Richarlison is on the bench. Yep. Um, I liked Son through the middle. I think I always like that when you know managers get a little bit inventive because I think with Richarlison as their main man, that's going to be a problem. But moving Son, put Solomon to the left, and then Kulusevski. They've got other options as well. Um, Son down the middle. He's sort of moving into the twilight of his career as well, isn't he? So I think he'll like that. He's How a old clever Sonny boy. How old is Sonny boy? Anybody? 31, 32, yeah. 31. Yeah. Still good to go. Looks really looks 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 well, doesn't he? Yeah. But uh, no, I think he he will suit that position. He's uh, an intricate player and um, he's still very quick. And the, the, I mean that pass from was it Pedro Porro for that Beautiful, goal? Oh, weren't yeah. it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sister of the weekend. I just realised that Huming Son's younger than me, and that's quite worrying. Um... I just feel a bit... Also better at football than you. Yeah, a little bit, but no, they were very good. And I think it's just very <laughs> exciting for them because they're in the territory of the, the Brightons now where I want to watch them. You know, I'm a Premier League neutral. Yeah, if they're on you. a telly, I want to watch them. I've, I'm thinking of getting them in the fantasy Premier League team anyway. That was, um, like I say, his 105th goal, just broken um, Drogba's record. He's back actually. as well because last season he was rubbish. He scored more goals than Ronaldo and Drogba actually now. In I'll the tell Premier you what, I do worry for Burnley. 11 goals after three games. That's the problem. That's Coming the up problem. from the Championship, if you're an attacking side, you do... Sometimes yeah, it's a big I, I, worry. I don't mind. I don't mind losing games in the Premier League. It's going to happen. But when you're shipping goals, yeah. four or five at a time, that's a worry. When well, you have to describe it as shipping as well, that's when you know it's getting really bad. But on the flip side of the coin, and you know, I'm not Burnley's biggest fan in history, but um, they've only played three games. They haven't played four because the Luton game got called off, True which enough. they would have won because everyone's going to beat Luton. Mm-hmm. And Villa, Man City, and uh, Tottenham. Tottenham Difficult games. It's, it's, it's up there with about as tough as. That's it not where their be. season's going to be defined. Let's no, be honest. like that. Um, Evan Ferguson. Evan Ferguson, lads. This kid is 18 years old, right? Um, he's only the fourth. I've got some lovely stats in front of us. He's only the fourth player to score a hat trick under 18. Wow, that's phenomenal, isn't it? This boy looks is this a like quiz? 18 no, and no, under. No. No, I don't know who the other three are. That would be good, actually. Why have we got not got that as stats? Wayne Rooney. Who are the other three, Jamie? Give me the other three players that have scored hat tricks under the name of 18. It's got to have been Wayne Rooney. We'll come back to that, but Rooney would definitely be on. Michael Owen's got to be another one. Oh, yeah, really good shout. Um, Rooney, Rooney, uh, Rooney, may might be someone like. De- no, not Defoe. No. Sterling? Fowler. 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 Really? Anyway, while they're doing that, um, I really Fowler. like Evan. Oh, he's got it. Fowler, Alan Shearer, and. Oh, no. No, don't worry. Oh, my. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Jay. Yeah, we'll Don't worry about this. it. We'll come anyway, back to that. We'll anyway, that. anyway, Evan Ferguson. I saw a lot of him last season and I got very excited about him. But he got linked with Man United in the summer, didn't he? Yeah. He he, uh, he, he's another one who follows me on Insta, so you know, I've got to give him a <laughs> nice, shout Nice, I'll just pick that one up for you there. But um, no, no, that's not why I like him, although it will help. Yeah, that yeah. Will help pushes you. him up. If you send me messages, I will... <laughs> I'm very, very vain, and I will pictures say that you're a good place. Just messages. No pictures. No, I'm not Sometimes pictures that. can help. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Videos? No, no. I, I, I can be bought. My opinions can be bought, basically. I'm so confused. there you go. Um, anyway, so Evan Ferguson, seen him a lot last season. He reminds me, you'll be old enough, you won't. He reminds me of Alan Shearer at Southampton. Yeah. I, I think he's got the lot. I think he's got the physicality. He's got the finishing ability. He's got the speed. And he's playing in a team. You know, he's not playing at West Ham or something like that. He's playing in a really good footballing side. You know, Ireland have got a cracking striker there. And the, the question is, is it the perfect place? He's playing week in, week out. Uh, the sky's the limit. I think realistically, if somebody wants to try and buy this kid, 18 years old, it's another £100 million player. They'll want more than that. They're, but it, it, that's what I'm saying. That For Brighton, yeah. it's, again, another one of those players who they know is worth at least £100 million. Mm, quid. It's, it's a conveyor belt, isn't it? It's a conveyor belt. Can I ask you a question? Yes. His first goal, Nick Pope not having the best start of the season out of the England squad. 
it comes through a bit yeah, of a body, yeah. but it's like, ooh, hey. It was a Billy Gilmore shot. Really good shot, in fairness to him, but he, it's one of those where he just hasn't hooked his arms around yeah. it quick enough. It's popped out, and he, it's a good finish. It's a really good finish. What's the one where he tries to kick it away as well, and he's running sprinting back to his goal? That was the one. That was the, that was this the is the one. goal. So yeah, he, yeah. he kicks it straight to, um, I can't remember it, I think it's a stupid man, gets it into, it, the ball gets broke. Um, Not a bad. That's the way it goes, yeah. It was a disappointing goal. He'll be disappointed with that, don't get me wrong. He's have got, you got it, got he's got, got it. it. It is Michael Owen, yeah. Robbie Fowler, yeah. and Chris Bart-Williams. Oh, oh my gosh. I can just say, rest in peace to Chris yeah. Bart-Williams. Yeah, that was horrible peace, news yeah. a few weeks ago as yeah. well. Um, training, in, it was over in America, um, Premier League. Yeah, played for a few Premier League clubs, didn't yeah. So, yeah, there we go. Shout out! What a lovely, yeah. what a lovely shout out as well. Well done, Jamie. Oh. Wasn't Rooney? No, I I surprised, Rooney. Is it? Right, let's move on to Highland again. Then uh, the, the the third player to score a hat trick this weekend. Uh, Fifty goal involvements in thirty nine games. I'm slowly falling out of love with fantasy football, and it's because of this man. You had him at captain, though, didn't? Yeah, you? but everyone did, and that's the, a guy scores a ha- Premier League hat trick, and you're like, fair enough. It's just a bit too robotic. It's like, oh, he's done it again. You're, well almost, you're almost like, what idiot wouldn't have it? Yeah, I, th- there are a few people like that. I'm not, you know, the dad of their mates every weekend. Ninety percent owner. Who's the ten percent? Let me yeah, meet them. They're, they're just stubborn people going. I'm not doing it. Yeah. I'll stand by my decision. I've never liked him. I hate Norwegian things. I'm not having him. You know, all the, the only difference this year in France in Premier League is when you use that triple captain token. If you can use it on a weekend where he plunders it. three or four... Well, that was oh, a hat-trick and an assist, wasn't it? Good, isn't it? That was a hat-trick and an assist this week he got, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Also, so probably good a... if you got Alvarez in there, Foden. You probably had a really good week if you got that. Yeah, well, yeah, it's his well, fifth yeah. Premier League hat-trick in 39 games. Um, yeah, I don't. we don't even need to embellish on Erling Haaland, don't we? we what don't... about the second goal? What, the offside one? Yeah. It was well, offside. I, 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 have you heard? But the thing is, like, I don't like City. And Do you not? No, I, okay. I, I'm breaking news. But what a legend Haaland is. After the game, he comes on TV and says, you know what, if I was a Fulham fan, I'd be angry. I thought it was offside. Yeah. And I thought, you know what, Refreshing. that's what you need against yeah, these referees. Enough. Because so many people at the weekend, were, even Man City fans were saying, you know what, I know we got away with it. And, and fair play, City fans. I'd celebrate if it was a United fan. But they, even City fans were going, that's ridiculous. Because yeah. it was ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I was watching it and they were going, to just because just it was at half-time on the TV, they were showing the half-time bit. And Michael Oliver's just stood there refusing to go and look at VAR because they're, they're telling me it's fine. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, it's disgusting, absolutely disgusting. So fair play to Haaland. I love that when a player goes, you know what, actually... It was a bad decision. And from a goalie point of view, he literally blocks the line of sight, doesn't he? That's it? exactly what he does. It's offside. I don't get. I don't get how you can get this wrong. This is what I'm saying about having a player in the fi- because you, you, when you're in that situation as a goal, you have to know that he will probably try and kick it. Yeah. So the ball's coming past him. You, you automatically, your instincts tell you that he is going to try and get something on it to just lash it into the goal. So you have to wait until the ball goes past him. That even like it could be a split second. I'm talking split second. It's enough. It's game over. It's done. But there was something that they said that because he doesn't actively go to kick it, he's trying to move out the way. The law says that. Oh, so it doesn't okay. matter. But he's still, the moving, still, there. still moving. It doesn't it? matter if he tries to get out the way, jump over it, whatever. It's he's ridiculous. still there. The fact that he's still there means he's in your eye line and he gets in your head. And that's, that's what I can't, I can't. Also, if that's split decision and there's no VAR, maybe you sort of get away with it. But the fact that you've got access to all these replays and they still don't go to the screen, it's just absolutely perplexing. Even Mike, I've got an idea. I've got go an idea. Go on. Uh, ben Foster, yeah. Go on. VAR out, lads. Just get it. I think it's. Yeah, there's just too much waiting around after goal. There's a there's like a VAR sort of tax after a goal where everyone's a bit like, eh, and then it's like, and then they're not sure. And yeah, they're waiting. even got a Nacho was like, you that's what tell. I mean. That's what I mean. Well, I was saying before we went live, and I know we'll talk about United Arsenal in a little bit, but I got a message from somebody last night who sort of works in this technology space, and they said initials HW. They, they, will, they will never ever admit it, but there's no way that they know that that Ganacho one's offside that quick. Oh, yeah. You can't do it. And he also said they won't have the tech. They won't have a camera at every angle to yeah. get that right. To get the details. And, 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 and ultimately, right. he said, what they've done there is they're under pressure. It's at Arsenal. It's What's the telling. safest decision to go? He's offside because he said he said he, it, no, and he said it might be offside. Yeah. But in the time they've done they're that, there's no way they do they, they know. Why well, can't we I have the big UEFA like. shield? You know, when they've got the thing, and then if your body parts through, yeah, we like need that, that one. Yeah. That's, That's nice, it. that one is, isn't it? Right. Um, let's move on. Let's talk about uh, first game. We're going to talk about from the game week. Um, Chelsea, who. In my opinion, have become a little bit Spursy. Spursy yeah. <laughs> have left that tag at the door. Chelsea came along and oh, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Oh. And I think Chelsea are that team at this moment in time. I don't know what I'm going to get from them. Chelsea at home to Nottingham Forest. Obviously, it's got to be a home win, guaranteed. Everybody's going to go for that. Simple as that. Forest are rubbish away from home. One nil to Forest. 
it does make me laugh when you get stats like Forrest's first win at Chelsea in 28 years because there's probably a real kicker there that Forrest hasn't been in the Premier League for, for about, about 20, 26. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I mean, look, Forrest have had a good start to the season. They were 2-0 up against United, lost by one goal. They lost by one Should goal to Arsenal. Yeah. They've got six points from a really tough start to the season, so they're flying. But I watched the game. I've done the jokes about Jackson. It was bad. Yeah. He's got to look in the mirror. Well, I think that we've talked about it as well before. It's like there's so much hype around Jackson. I think he's almost costing him a lot more because you, you watch him and you think he's going to be like the second coming of Jesus Christ as a number nine. And there was a miss so, against Liverpool. Yeah. There was a miss at the weekend. And I'm sure his pressures are good and he's running the channels and he's doing everything right. But he is there to be a number nine and he's not doing it. If we'd spoke, if, we, if we'd been spoken about this on the football filling last year and we went, name your top 20 strikers in yeah. the world. I don't think Jackson would I hadn't even there. heard of Nicholas Jackson before he signed for Chelsea. The only time I've heard of him is when Pochettino last week said he's going to be the best in the world. Now he's missed one from about three yards with an open goal as well. He did take a lovely touch on the edge of the 18-yard box. I don't know if you nice. saw this one. Ball looped up in the air, he took a lovely touch, brought it down and played in Sterling. And Sterling then lashed it wide. Um, but Forrest, though, I'm really happy with them. They've had a tough start to the season. They've played, I think, Chelsea, Man United and Arsenal away already this season going into the international break. But they look decent, don't they? If they're yeah. picking points up away from home, we all know they're going to win games at home that's the way that they do yeah. but if they can start picking up a few more on the road they're going to be mid-table this season you know the big one as well Steve Cooper such an amazing job because last year there was obviously so much in in take and outtake with all the players but that ownership is although he got the new contract it still feels a little bit yeah. like up in the air and he's just ploughed through kept going and it feels a little bit like he's in that pot of territory when he was at Brighton where mm. he could be maybe the next one that gets picked up hopefully by the right club and we don't have an outcome yeah like you Potter predict Chelsea. he was going to be the first to be sacked on the podcast all right? right well let's move on I think yeah. we're doing a couple yeah, of games yeah 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 yeah, I said Palace would get relegated though, so. Yeah, you did. Yeah, we, you know, we have bad opinions. It's but... really hard to make. I want to talk about Cole Palmer as well, quickly, if we can, lads, all right? Um, I've got a few ideas about this Cole Palmer transfer, and I think I think he had to make this transfer. I think he what? had to make he this did? transfer. Or yes. Man City did? No, he did. He had to make this transfer from Man City to Chelsea. Should explain the can, I, can I break it down how a transfer will work, right? So, what's happened is, for Chelsea to make a bid, for a player, they have to know that he is willing to come, yeah? That's the way the world works. Everybody might not know this, and I'm sorry to burst your bubble if this is the truth, right? If you don't not heard this yet, but if a player is moving to somewhere, he already knows about it, yeah? He already knows about it. So when you see it on Sky Sports News, Chelsea make £45 million bid for Cole Palmer, yeah? Cole Palmer knew about this yesterday. He's not doing that. He oh, knew wow. about He's That's like, nice. what the heck? The yellow tick is going. I can't be moving That's to Chelsea. Crazy. Just bought a new house in Manchester. He already knows about it. It's the way that it goes, right? So the reason why he knows about it, right, is because then the club already, Chelsea, have spoken to Man City, and the second Man City say, um, yeah, all right, I think we can do something here, yeah? That straight away lets Cole Palmer know that Man City are willing to sell him. Mm. And as soon as you know that Man City are willing to sell you, when Pep Guardiola pulls you into his office and say, listen, mate, we've had a bid, 45 million quid, it's a great offer. We think it's good for you, we think it's good for us. Everybody's a winner. The second he says that, right... You have to go. Right. It's as simple as that. Because he's, if, if he meant that much to him or he saw that much ability and that much potential in him, he'd say, no chance on this earth, mate. This guy's going to be worth 200 million quid in a year's time. Yeah. I'm going to play him week in, week out in the Premier League. He's not going to do that. He's got players ahead of him in that team who will always start ahead of him. So it's an absolute no-brainer. So he has to do it. And I think he signed, what, a seven, eight-year deal? He's down at Chelsea. His wages would have gone up to over 100 grand a week, yeah? It's a no-brainer. He's just signed a £40, £50 million pound contract, right, for seven or eight years, which I don't care who you are. Genuinely, I don't care who you are. When somebody says, there's £50 million quid for eight years, all right? Yeah, thank you very much. I think it's a dangerous deal, to be honest, because, again, Pochettino was talking about it and it was almost like he didn't know it was going on. Yeah. Um, been a few, and I think that this is the problem with, with Chelsea is that they've spent over a billion, which is well documented, and you look at it and you go, what have you bought, really? Yeah. Especially in the in the striker scenario. It's, You've just, got to it's score just potential. Goal. They've just yeah. signed potential, that's it. Well, I worry real, about Chelsea, I do. We're all saying the same thing. Like We're talking about Nicholas Jackson's miss, and then we're all saying they need a number nine, and it's just not been filled. No, it doesn't. I worry about Chelsea. I mean, I do. I don't know. I don't know. I think they're, I think they're beatable. And that's not a good look if you want to get in the top four. Once but, again, I, sorry, quickly, once again, I think that it's like that Ted Todd Bowley is playing champ man and he's gone around mm. and found all the wonder kids. Yeah. He's found all the wonder kids that are 19, 20 years old and he's gone, yep, yeah, let's just sign them. Yeah, but you say that, Most though, of them should be all right, surely. I wouldn't play champ man that badly. And I'm a bad champ man player. <laughs> you know, you've got to have a bit of decorum and keep it down a little bit. Well, any idiot goes and buys strikers when they've got a billion, don't they? You don't yeah. go and go, oh, let's get another defensive no, I do that. I go. I do that sugar daddy thing, you know, where you've got like a billionaire owner and you can buy... So about many... football manager? Yeah, yeah football manager. Sorry. Yeah, that... yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sugar daddy. Yeah, yeah. Ben Foster. Also, ben Foster likes also Casado. 
another. Oh, well, he's having oh, a poor start. I want him to do well. Start. Seems like a lovely lad. He's had a bad start, but he gave away the goal that led to the to the ball that led to the goal. It's yeah. a great finish by Anthony Alanga. Somebody you might know a little bit more about, Mark, but it's a fantastic finish, isn't it? And for me, Chelsea, yeah, the new Spursy, all right? So I'm just going to put it out there. Okay, let's move it on though, all right? Liverpool, Aston Villa. Um, we did the, that's football predictions last week, and you actually went for a draw in this one, didn't you? I did, yeah. And I watched the game, and uh, I thought Liverpool were fantastic. And I think that there's so many headlines in football around, you know, Haaland and, you know, Chelsea being bad. But I think there's a brilliant headline around the fact that Liverpool have basically replaced their whole midfield in the summer. Yeah. And now they're right back up there. I mean, that ain't easy to do. Their midfield was poor last year to, to reconstruct a midfield in, in the space of one transfer window. And, and they look really good. Like they were really Villa, again, they were poor at Newcastle, they were poor at Liverpool, but they um they were they were just rampant Liverpool. They were constant, they were like they were like the team of like two old years Liverpool. Ago. Yeah, like yeah, old school. They didn't Liverpool look as back. massively vulnerable. Villa had a couple of chances, but last season teams were getting a lot of chances. This season Liverpool are scoring goals. Midfield, Sabozle looks really good. Yeah, lovely yeah, yeah. goal. McAllister obviously was always going to settle. They've got Gravenberg to come in. Um, no, I think Liverpool... The question is, are Liverpool going to be the main challenger to Man City? Because at the moment, they're, they're, they're positioning themselves lovely. They're well, Tottenham. Also, that front three was nice because um, Nunes hasn't been in. Obviously, came on and scored that goal. But I really like Diaz, Nunes, Salah. That felt yeah. a lot more balanced and a lot more like... And, and then it was highlighted, but Trent at the back as well. Some oh. of those balls for the, Mate, for the, the ball, second goal. Yeah, the ball over the top is... It's like a little lob wedge shot of the green. green. And that's a golf reference. Did you see? The, look at the way. If you get back to watch his technique when he does this, it is phenomenal. Yeah, very high. He, he, it? It's coming back to him, and you can t you can see he he takes a quick look first as well, right? So he takes this quick look. And as soon as he takes this quick look, and you see him like moving his body, you think, oh, he's seen something here. Go mm. on. And then it's about whether you've got the ability and the strength and the power to move your feet quickly enough and get that ball whipped over. And he has to really dig it out, he does as well, over the top. It is inch perfect. It is phenomenal. What a ball. It's, the, it's football and it's the, it's the side of football that you know, makes it really compelling. You know, I'm sure Trent Alexander-Arnold doesn't like it when he gets criticised but then he gets the plaudits yeah. when he does I'm that. Right, yeah. Going forward, world class, going back, he's like an apron. Oh, that's a bit harsh. He um, is. Uh, um, Sir by the way, Sir Bozlai, the fourth Hungarian to score in the Premier League. Uh, wow. One of my boys is on this list. Zoltan Gera. Big old Zoltan Gera. Uh, another player I played with, actually, Tamas Priskin at Watford back in the day. I don't Striker. Know Priskin. Don't forget, Striker. Uh, don't forget lad. Akos Bazaki. And obviously Akos Bazaki. It's I'm not reading like this from anywhere. I thought you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Your ball knowledge is phenomenal. Um, I always win the quiz. He looks a good signing, though, doesn't he? I like the look of him a lot. I like Akos, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sebastian. So I, like, I do like Spursley. I think at the moment he's there probably with Madison um, and uh, Jackson as yeah. signing of the, not Jackson no. signing of the summer. He's looking good so far. Early days though. Early days. Can we do ten minutes on Zoltan Gera or is that, yeah. is that another show? Um, That's a very I would give you niche, ten minutes on Zoltan Gera. Very niche, he's a love, he's one about. of the loveliest men you'll meet in football. By the way, he is such do a we, good, um, what a baller. As do well. we worry about Villa? Because yeah. because the teams that they beat in Everton, Burnley, yeah. supposed to win, they shipped five at Newcastle, who was sort of proceeding not looking very good. They got European football coming up. And also, you think last year, back to West Ham, when they had that European run, great to win the trophy, but it really affected their league form until the end of the season. Is it a bit iffy at Villa? Um, I, don't, I think they've just been a bit unlucky with, obviously, the start to the season they've had. It's a tough start to the season anyway. Um, but some of the injuries they've had. Tyrone Mings, is a, the, he's a massive miss to them. Yeah. Not only is, obviously, their starting centre-back anyway, but he is that leader in there anyway. Do you know what I mean? He's the guy that gets them going. Uh, a couple of other big injuries for them. I think they'll be absolutely fine. I don't worry about Aston Villa one little bit. I think they're the sort of team who next week, whoever they've got, they'll bounce back and win it at 3 or 4 nil again. It's also about where you put Villa. I mean, people say, oh, Villa had a bad start to the season, but it's Anfield, it's St James's Park. United lost both those games last yep. year and finished third. So I'm putting Villa around... Sixth, seventh, yeah. eighth. So really. European football probably takes out of their legs a little bit away. Yeah. They were playing. I know it's only away in Scotland, but it's still all the travel, all the preparation, all the. Do you know what I mean? All that kind of does take it, get, it takes you out of your legs a little bit. But I think that'll be absolutely fine. Um, do you know what time it is as well? I do know what time it is. I've it, been given a card today that you have not seen. Don't show him the answer it's today. Fine. I never got one right. It's not like I've seen it before. Well, it's, uh, the, it's the one question. Um, How can it be currently nil nil? Because, because we've got, nobody's they're got they're always hard question questions. Right so they're very hard questions. What? Just, if you don't get this, that's shocking. Well, we'll see then. One You're question, about. go. Who is currently the oldest player in the Premier League? Wow. Come on. I mean, they've obviously dumbed it down this week because you guys are on nil-nil. Don't give any clues. No clues. I don't think I do. I'll give you a clue. He's old. Yeah. <laughs> a little one for you. Got to be a goalkeeper. Tom Heaton. Incorrect. 
Bollocks. I mean, bugger. Oh, miffed. You, you get a go and then I, we can get another go each if no. you want. No, no, no. it's not going to be allowed. I, I, I don't even know where to guess here. I can't even think of a goalkeeper. I can't. I, I can't think. I feel, I feel shocked and also appalled. A goalkeeper that's old. That why, why are you think focusing league? on goalkeeper? All oh, right, OK. Oh, it's not a goalkeeper. That's a clue. Ooh, that's a clue. <laughs> why are you focused on goalkeepers? A clue. Don't know. Why are you, or why are you focusing on goalkeepers? Why are you focusing on goalkeepers? Down, down. Come down, on. Down. Five, four, three, two. Johnny Evans. No, incorrect. Tiago Silva, Silva yes. correct. Ooh, that's not even that old. Thirty-nine. All right, it is. <laughs> There we go, still that, nil This nil. is the shittest segment in the world. <laughs> it's, it is. to keep it nil nil all season. This Great is for you. So bad. When you get one, I'm it's expecting confetti, everything. Sponsored by Tony Pulis. <laughs> oh, yeah, nil nil. He's, it is his wet dream. No, yeah. one nil used to be his wet dream, honestly. If we won a game one nil, I remember we won a game one nil at West Brom and I was got out of the shower and I was in the mirror, sort of putting moisturiser on or something, and he was next to me and went, I love a one nil man. <laughs> <laughs> know me. They're gonna go home now, fucking fuming. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, I'm with you." Mate. It's class. Oh, it's class. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm struggling with this next segment. Okay, Luton, West Ham, then boys. Um, it was a yeah. I, I, I watched this. Not game. Friday night football game. No, I watched this game, and again, I, I was in the pub. I am enjoying going to the pub a lot at this moment in time. I've never had the chance to do it, so I'm doing it. All right, and I'm going to wear it. Okay, I watched this game in the pub, and I actually quite enjoyed it. You know what? I don't care. Um, West Ham looked you must decent. Must have had a few then. No, I didn't. I didn't. Just one or two nice little uh, neckles I have. I have wow, well, yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah, neckle. I like one of them. Um, anyway, West Ham. They're looking impressive. Very good start to the season for them for for a few hours. They top of the league at least anyway I'd say how crap this game was um, <laughs> there was an absolutely <laughs> terrible refereeing decision and no one really bothered about yeah, it over you know. the handball oh again. it's such a handball so it, bad, it's, it? it's terrible again you know ridiculous officiating but I thought um, I mean I don't know why he's not in the England team James Ward-Prowse it make, it's, it's stunning yeah. to me but um, nah. yeah but West Ham are really really good Luton probably gave a glimpse of why they might get a point somewhere. You know, that little long ball, head tennis goal. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it keep up. Keep it goal. up, yeah, physicality. But That's my kind of football, that. They've, yeah. got to, they've got to win those sort of games, Luton, if they're going to stay up. And um, I feel that, uh, yeah, it was a good win, good win for West Ham. Really like Alvarez. Uh, good business in the end, isn't it? Yeah, they, they're, 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 they're good. The West Ham are doing really well. be interesting to see how long they can keep it up. Very impressed with them. I think they'll be all right. I think they will surprise a lot of teams. I think they will be... Uh, I think they'll be top ten this season. Um, and I, you we were talking about James Ward-Prowse and you went, meh. But I, no, I'm all over him, mate. I think he is... Abs- he I think Southgate. I think he's man-made. I do. We'll talk about Southgate as well if you want in a minute because we've got to talk about some of the team selections that he picked. But um, I think he is absolutely perfect... Absolutely perfect for West Ham James Ward Prowse. Is. Same, is, I agree. He is gonna get, he'll get double figures assists again this season. Yeah, I love that. Easily as well. Also, big shout out to David Moyes. A lot of people criticising him before the start of the season. Yeah, and he's done a fantastic job. And I think he'll carry on doing it. How can you pick Calvin Phillips over James Ward Prowse when Calvin Phillips has played less football than I've played this season? <laughs> At least I had a penalty shootout with Cal the Dragon. <laughs> I mean, bloody hell. James Ward-Prowse actually offers something different. No, as I'd well. have Ward-Prowse in there. I mean, against Ukraine next week might be quite physical. Put some crosses onto bloody Maguire's head if you want to pick him. I don't get it. I just think it's mates rates nonsense. I thought I thought this England squad was going to be the one where it's, experimental. It, no, it finally changed. Yeah, I thought well, Sterling I thought, should be in. There. I think I think I still think you know like ninety percent of the team, but I think there's probably two or three players where you're a bit like, ooh. I, don't I know do think I, do, I think Henderson with the standard of football and his age and the way it's going, I agree with that one. Oh yeah, this but the, I don't. The Maguire one's fine. I'm happy with the Maguire. I'm not happy with it. There's so many injuries at the back. We've got, I, got Colwell in. That's I, fine. I don't mind it either. He obviously beat massive being his bonnet, and a lot of people will. Do, do you know what I think it is, though? I just think it, it annoys people. It annoys fans. And I understand why it annoys them. Yeah. Because they want to see the players that have been playing well for their teams get into the England squad. It's as simple as that. And when yeah. he's not playing, it does. It just rubs people up the wrong way. Yeah, but Ming's uh, injured, Stone's injured, yeah, Dyer's injured. Yeah, Who are you yeah. going to put at the back? It, Adam Webster. It never used oh, to Adam happen. Webster, in yeah, good lad, but. It's a, dis- it's a disrespect to the English national team because throughout my whole life, when you're picking an England team or you're waiting for an England team to ki- get picked from Bobby Robson all the way through to Sven, you're looking at who's playing and where they're playing and he's not playing football. So yeah, I'm but- sorry, this is player power. This is what's gone on at United with Sancho. Harry Maguire, we've just had a transfer window. Calvin Phillips, we've just had a transfer window. 
Southgate should be on the phone saying, I want to pick you. I love playing chess with you. You're lovely lads. Go and move to Watford. Go and move to bloody West Ham. But why and, would they and they've do gone, that? They've gone, no, Gareth, actually, I'm going to stay here. And he should have a pair and say, well, I tell you what, you're not, pay- you're not playing for England. And everyone's going to be on my side. And I'm going to do a practice. Otherwise, he's on, the, he's on <laughs> an old phone. He's got he's one of the old, old phones like that. And, it, and then he's, in his press conference, instead of like looking like a prat, he can say, I'll tell you why I haven't picked him because they're not playing football. And I've told them to play football. If you want to play for England, you go and play club football. Yeah, but why is Maguire going to... Yeah. Oh, get it. Oh. Southgate. As a passionate Southgate, team. out. <laughs> <laughs> Grow off. You're like an ostrich. You've got your head in the sand. Why would Maguire want to get a move to a, a lesser club for lesser money? Same with Phillips. Why would Phillips... What, you said he wanted to go to Watford. They're in the championship. I, I, Watford, I, stumbled, I stuttered. <laughs> I stuttered. I'll admit, the Watford thing was a bad... Bad take. Well, what? Do you know what you're going to be in a, uh, another week's time when England kick off that first match? You're going to be fuming because you know Harry Maguire's going to be starting, right? I'm going to know wa- this. You know yeah? what? You know Rolls what? Royce in an you know, England. You know shirt. what? You know when the England game's on on Saturday, side men's game's on. Ooh. Let's see who watches. The Southgate's going to be in the mud. Right. So if you're manager of one of those side men teams, I'm not saying you are. Or no, not, I'm, right? I'm, I ain't got a clue. I'm just no, saying. I'm not. And Harry Maguire was available. Are you picking him even though he's not playing any football? No, I would play. I I I, I would. I would put Will at centre back. And you've seen me play. And I've seen him play. I've played the game. <laughs> I've played, I've played the game. <laughs> um, all right, you lot, come on. Uh, I want to talk about your boys, Man United. Um, we, we, again, we did th- this is football last week, and we were trying to pick winners of this game and how the game would go. And quite honestly, none of us could come up with a definitive, concise answer as to why somebody would win this game. You just didn't know what to expect, did you? I think when you look at it, it's really disappointing. But when you look at it, going into stoppage time, it's 1-1. It's probably the right result. I mean, I must say, San, um, Saka and Havertz missed sitters. Yeah. That didn't really yeah. get much attention. Havertz one was brutal, by the way. Yeah. That, is, that is snatchy, yeah. snatchy, nervous kick, that is. But it's That's one... a new feature, though. <laughs> snatchy, 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 snitchy, nervous. Snitch, snatch, <laughs> snitch. Um, anyway, it goes into stoppage time. It's 1-1. Ganacho. That's just pure luck, and it's bad luck, and it's luck. I asked them. Great goal. What yeah, a finish, yeah, lovely, by the way. Lovely. Oh. Little, the Hoyland uh, yeah. flick. Yeah, Ooh. it would have been lovely. I did celebrate it. Would have been great. And, you know, I'd probably win then. And then, obviously, you've got Johnny Evans and Harry Maguire at centre-back. No one ever thought they were going to see that in 2023. No one wants to see it in 2023. And oh, I do. it's vulnerable. You're, you're vulnerable. And, and, you know, I couldn't believe the Declan Rice goal. I'm like, he stood free on the back post. He miscontrols it. He, he then he, he, he has to, it with his nose. Yeah. He then has to run around to hit it. And like Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans are sort of like, they're not even in slow mo. They're like a, they're like a picture. They're just not moving. And then I think Anana probably should do a little bit better. Yeah, maybe. But I, I can't say I didn't expect it because in a game like that, it felt like it was going to go either way. And I think whoever won would go glad that's out of the way. And whoever loses goes. Oh, yeah. Do you think loss. it was a foul on from on Evans for the second goal? Well, pinning yeah. him, sort of holding him back. Yeah. Up, they right? were, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I just think that's it. part of it. You, uh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think can. it was a penalty on Hoyland either. You know. You know where Gabriel yeah, sort of does that. Not, no I chance. think. I think it's. I think they might get given. But the. But the Johnny Evans and Gabriel thing. I mean, Johnny Evans is is a big lad. Yeah. He's, he's you know, giving it as good as he gets. Yeah, you know. Course, that, yeah. that you don't. You don't want fouls for that. And also, he's still got time to close him down, and he doesn't. I think that's just. It, one is, of those. it takes a flick off Evans as well. That's what puts an honor off. So right. when he's when he's. This is the thing for me, right? It, when a ball's come there all the way to the back post, there's no way on this earth one he should be unmarked anyway but even if he's unmarked you can't then control it with your face let it drop down bounce bounce and then still get your shot off it's criminal genuinely why, why is Harry Maguire not marking Declan Rice you'd think he'd be stood there going yeah, but oh, yeah. I can't believe him in the England squad see you next week Declan shall we play a bit of pool don't forget your Nintendo DS yeah. oh this needs to stop <laughs> um, but, 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 but just on VAR I'm very negative on VAR they got it absolutely spot on the habits. I actually thought it was a penalty. I went, yeah. that's just like Rashford last week. He's caught him. Yeah, exactly, not yeah. a penalty. No, no, no there down. wasn't. There wasn't got a yellow card for that. He should have got a yellow card yeah. for it is what he should have done. Um, going back to the goal, sorry, quickly, the second one. So he, he's got the shot off, flicked up off of Johnny Evans's foot. Unfortunately, he's trying to get a block on it as much as he could. Um, and then at that moment in time, when you're the goalie, Anana, it's just pure reflexes and whether you get your arm in the right position to make that save. And it's one of those, I think he'll probably be a bit disappointed about it. It's definitely not a mistake, definitely not a mistake. But I know for a fact that 
at that level, he will be 100% thinking, oh, so close. So close. I should have got it. I should have got it. I know that's how it would be. But that's the way it goes sometimes. You know, sometimes you make it safe, sometimes you don't make it safe. But then the third goal, it was just, it was the nail in the coffin, right? So when this second goal went in, right, Well, I was at home um, and ne- I was. Neck oil? Uh, no, 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 straight away. I think I was actually, yeah. No, um, Brewdog was on. Um, and uh, I put on, I thought, oh, I'll have a look, little look on United Stand and see how Mark's getting on. <laughs> Is it, 80,000 concurrent viewers. It, not it, well, it jumped up from the second I put it on, 76, it jumped up to like 90 straight away. Why. Like that, straight away, right? So we're all thinking, it. oh, let's get Mark's insight <laughs> into this. He always likes to analyse it. When, when Man United can see the late winner, yeah. he'll be talking through all the mistakes. It'll be a measured be response. In his chair. It'll be a nice, calm, measured response. Surely it wasn't. It was absolute. Ah, and he was out of his seat and he was storming off and that's exactly how it went. And then the third goal went in. Oh, mate, it was just pure comedy gold, honestly. It was absolutely genius. But I think from that 2-1 to when Garnacho scores and you're thinking, oh, we're going to win this. this it's is an emotional thing. Absolutely minutes. massive. Yeah. To then it finishing 3-1 is, wow, that is just the beauty of football. And if you're a home that fan, is why, ooh. Sorry, that is why we should have big games like this on a Sunday at 4.30 yes. or on a Friday night or on a Saturday evening. This is why you should have the big Liverpool games. Villa, so, not on the telly. Wolves Palace. Rubbish. Disgrace. That's what I'm um, saying. But Everton, Sheffield United as well. Rubbish. Um, goalkeepers, though, I know you're in the Aaron Ramsdale fan club. I think he should do better on Rashford's shot. No chance. Yes. Do you know what, right? Do you know what? He's... I knew I knew as soon as he gets a bit oh. of a hand on it, right? Should and do it better. still goes in. I know as soon as he gets a bit of a hand on it and it goes in, he would be thinking, God's sake, I almost wish it had just gone in without getting a hand on it. Because yeah. if you get a hand on it, people go, Oh, he should have saved it. Is that, that one thing, where yeah? he's got a bit of a hand on it? Exactly. He nearly made a great save. Yeah, but if, like I say, but if it had just gone straight in, you go, oh, it was a great finish. You can't get anywhere. He's done well to get That is honestly how it goes. It's goalkeeping insight. You don't get that anywhere else. No, well, I had, I had him texting me actually last night. Oh! He texted me and I was like, oh, mate, fantastic win. And he said, um, can you tell your mate Mark to make his mind up about me, please? Because wow. he says, one week he rates me, next week he thinks I'm rubbish. Like, I don't know where I stand with him. He did, however, back it up with saying, however, I do like Mark and I like all of what he does. Could you just say you want to come on the podcast? Yeah, he, he is, yeah. I'm going to get him on with his dad. I'm going to get him on with his dad. His dad's yeah, a legend, by the way. Oh, yeah, I, I think Ram... Busy. Busy. I, yeah, he can't do yours, he can't do it. I think Ramsdale should be England number one, which is quite a, 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 a big See, thing. See, Pickford yeah. save at the weekend last minute. Well, we'll talk about him in a minute. Uh, I think Ramsdale's better than Pickford, and um, I just I like David Raya. That's all it is. You know, some people like red wine, some people like white wine, some yeah. people like water. Rose, eh? yeah. You know, we're, we're not, no pressure. You don't have to have a drink. Uh, everyone's entitled to an opinion, right? That's yeah. what the beauty of football. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You're wrong, but I I appreciate all of your opinions. You're just he, he, I have to actually, Aaron. If you are watching, I just have to give the other side because he's right up your ass. I am right up his ass. Fan that, club, right? yeah. Ramsdale fan club. He's a ben proper goalie. He's a proper goalie. That's why I'm up his ass because he's a proper Rambo. Goalie. We ain't even called him Rambo. That's yeah, definitely a picture and video situation in the DMs. Um, um, are we are we quickly going to touch on Man City and just say that they were uh, once again phenomenal? You knew what was going to come. Well, from we spoke. I know we it. spoke about it earlier. Yeah. But the offside, it's kind robotic. Of, it's it? kind of it's kind of his robotic at this I moment. Tell you what, though, right. Fulham, give him a bit of shout out. Got a draw at and uh, Arsenal last week. That's the contrast, isn't it? As yeah. well, when I mean, you talk about the title, Fulham can go to the Emirates and get a draw. Mm. Go to the uh, go to the Etihad, and get absolutely battered. Um, I think Marco Silva said the offside thing killed them a little bit. I think. You know, you probably would agree. It probably, Man City probably still do win the game, yeah. but the, Fulham were really good in the first half. I mean, possession, it was almost around 50 50. Is- and that offside will. Oh, mentally massive. kill oh, you, yeah, absolutely kill you. When, you, when you think oh, we're playing the best team in the world anyway and then we've got decisions going against us that shouldn't be going against us it just feels like the whole world's against you basically yeah. but this is this is the power of Man City though You know, when they're playing a team who's decent Fulham are decent and they look like they can do it they still smash five past them I know I had to remind myself of the new signings that they've got to come into the team oh, as well so they, like look, the, they look a million you? tell us then <laughs> who are they remind Do- us Nunes yeah. Gomez Gomez Doku Sounds like someone out of bloody Star Wars. Well, see, I got there there. You <laughs> did put me on the spot, but I thought... Kovacic. Kovacic really, really well. Kovacic Kovacic as well. Um, oh, we haven't even spoken about this Jadon Sancho tweet. Can we please talk about this Jadon Sancho tweet? Do of course you, we can. This, if you're a Manchester United fan at this moment in time, right, he surely must be enemy number one. Get it. He, he, get out. Yeah. Is that how it is at this moment? Get, get, get him out. Get him out. No. no, I do like Sancho, and you've got to be really careful because obviously he missed three months of the season last season. We don't know why. But what we do know is that this is a football uh, conversation. Didn't he miss three months because he was like a bit fat, basically? 
No, I think, oh, yeah, I think he was a bit overweight and just sort of like. Well, no, I think that might have been the line out. But no, I think I think there's a particularly sort of like fit and fit. I don't, I don't know. know. At the end of the day, he might have missed three months because he's suffering with mental health and stuff like that. And of course, we're all going to be very sensitive about that. But what we don't need to be sensitive about is is is, is a player that is within twenty minutes of his manager saying, "I didn't pick him because I didn't think he was good enough," putting a statement out saying, "I disagree." It's like that scene out of The Office, you know, where David Brent sat there with Neil and he's saying, I'm not happy with your performance. He says, well, I'm happy with my performance, so let's agree to disagree. <laughs> no, I'm your boss. I'm not happy with your performance. Was, I was reading that. It's like Jaden Sanchez saying, no, I, I disagree. I did tra- I'm happy with my performance. I'm happy with my trading performance. But it's a nonsense. The man, it wouldn't happen. Look, we're talking about Man City. Wouldn't happen at Man City. Oh. Grealish... Foden, De Bruyne. Cancelo, look at that, he's gone. They're not, they're not, they're not going to do it. And this is the problem at United. It's, it's, the, it, it's the player power of going, I feel confident enough to put a statement out. Yeah. 20 minutes of my manager, making him look a prat. He should be fined. Saudi Arabia, do you fancy a move to that? Just move him out. The window's open but That's still. the thing, where's he going to go? Because probably a top four or five club aren't going to take him. No, then no. you're looking at like an Aston Villa maybe, but they're not going to pay his wages. So he's just stuck in this sort Try of middle ground. Of Try to get rid of him, can't get rid of him, so the, pl- the player becomes a powerful player. Yeah. The, and that's the problem. But that's, that's down to the ownership as well. Oh, 100%, yeah. It's a massive problem. He, um, he's earning crazy wages, 300 grand a week. The fact that he feels he can say this in the first place yeah. just boggles my brain. And boggles my brain. And on yeah. notes as well. It wasn't even a formatted, uh, nice oh, little bit of a graphic. It was done on notes, out, screenshot it. His notes. Well, Spell Pratt, check. I disagree. Spell You're a knobhead. Basically. Basically. As well. Did you ever have any players come out? like? I suppose you had social media back in your day, didn't you? Yeah, but, yeah, not that old. Bit, yeah, a oh, little bit. You had the internet of, as well, you know. I remember at Man United, though, like, that's... this. You'd never do that at Man United. Respect. Genuinely. The police never, wouldn't let that happen, would it? Mate, no, like, proper... Birmingham, uh, proper, that is. Like, proper, own, proper owners, proper managers. This way. Like, uh, uh, Fergie, Alex Ferguson at Man United... That ain't even a thing. I promise you, right? If you if I did that after a game, yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. If you do that after a game, yeah, you are in the next day, and it's you out. You're done. Yeah. Finished. Don't you well, even. Well, some dare. of the stuff you've, he's told us that you probably can't say on here that he got told off by Sir Alex for. Oh mate, I mean, it wasn't putting anything. a public statement out calling calling him a liar. It was literally like. Imagine if you did that against Fergie. Oh. Actually, Fergie, you're wrong. I have yeah. been training well. Yeah. That'll do, mate. You're yeah, done. Yeah. But do you know what the difference is quickly between Man City and Manchester United? Man City at some point will go. Do you know what? whether it costs us five, ten mil to get rid of this player and we have to bite it and we have yeah. to sort of take a hit on it, oh, well, get it done. Just get it done ASAP. Get him out of the way because we don't need that attitude yeah. around the place. Man City, Man United basically go, let's open the book. How much is it going to... Ooh, ten... No, not ten yeah. mil. Let him, just, let him try and just solve it or something like that. Mate. You're the boss. You're Ten Hag, right? Tom comes up to you. You go say, I've had enough of Jamie. He's rubbish at the quiz. Oh. He cheats every week. Whoa, whoa, and you whoa. say, you say, you say, I want to get rid of him. And Tom goes... We can't afford it. We've got to keep him. <laughs> I'm fuming. You're fuming. I'm you, fuming. You're like, I want a better quiz. Get I rid. want a better quiz master. Why is Goldbridge winning every week? What's yeah. relationship going on I'm there? So then Jamie comes out and go, actually, it's a really good quiz. I'm really proud of it. And he puts a statement out like that. Yeah, and Jamie, Jamie comes out and says, Ben Foster doesn't know what he's on about. He's thick. <laughs> That's why he loses the quiz. I don't cheat. You know, see so, so what I mean though? That's the separation, then you've got the cracks. The yeah. cracks go yeah. further, further, because I'm going to come in every day. And I'm going to stick up for Jamie. He's a dickhead, him. You're a dickhead then if you stick up for him. You're a dickhead. But that's I want that's him what I'm talking about. Then in the dressing room, Sancho won't be on his own. There'll be people in the dressing room going, Yeah, I'm not getting picked. I'm with you, Sancho. Yeah, you know, that's what I mean. You get your groups then, don't you? Yeah, you go. Cleeks. The cliques. You, you get the little cliques. You're sitting on the bounty, I tell you. Uh, let's talk about the rest of the world, what's going on. Jamie, I love you. You know that. I do love you. It was just an example. And you are never, ever going to leave this company, all right? Promise me. I'll Promise me. Promise me. Anyway. Statement pending. Right then, boys, I want to go around the world, and it feels like we pretty much mention this guy every week now in this segment, but Jude Bellingham, lads. Jude if Bellingham. If he could have a threesome, it would be Bellingham, him and Southgate. I mean, like a meal out. Oh, yeah, obviously, yeah. 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 He'd love it. <laughs> I, don't know about, I don't know about the other one. I'll get Maguire in there as well, might as well. Oh, God. But Jude Bellingham at the Bernabeu, first game in there, scores a last-minute winner. I mean, if, if the script was written, you'd say it was false. That's what The roof was closed, but it could have took yeah, it off. Yeah, he bloody he blew it off. off. Yeah. And he's from yeah. Stalbridge, you know, so that's mental as well. But no, absolutely fantastic. And he's player of the month for the first month he's been there, scoring. Is he the first Englishman to get player of the month in La Liga as well? Yes. That's phenomenal, isn't it? Come on, first season. Generational talent. How old is he? 19 still. He's 19. He's actually 20, oh, no, just 20 in now. 65 days, actually. Really? Good yeah. knowledge from you today. That, 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 is, are... that is, you know, we are blessed. I mean, I, I was on about this uh, last night and I said that uh, for me, generational Gascoigne, you know, to have that player was, yeah. was, was brilliant. For the youth out there, Bellingham 
enjoy it. He's going to... I definitely is going to be incredible career. Future England what, what he's done already at 19. Ballon d'Or in the next few years? I hope I, so. I think this, if he has a good season at Real Madrid, they win the Champions League, we go into the Euros, we win it, get to the final, we could win a Ballon d'Or next year. Only corruption can stop him, which unfortunately in football, as we know, is a thing. Um, <laughs> Wow! Where did that come from? Wow! Because he's a midfielder, isn't he? You know. It's, oh right, like, yeah. But he's uh, goal scoring now, and that just boosts yeah, you right up the ranks, he, doesn't he it? He is perfect to win a Ballon d'Or, and he should do. But you know what? If if Haaland scores fifty goals, it will probably be him for the next yeah, ten years. Isn't it? Uh, and quickly, um, it was the Old Firm derby at the weekend. Celtic winning um, yet again. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yet again. Yeah. Um, Michael Beale under pressure already as Rangers manager. Um, and also, we had two um, sort of excellent England international goalkeepers playing for, for both teams. I'll stop you there. Go two on. ex-Birmingham goalkeepers as well. Two ex-Birmingham and England All from the school of Dave Watson as well, weren't All they? from the school of Dave Watson. Um, real good lads, both of these, by the way. They're proper goalies, by the way, they are. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They should Great be, for Butler as well. They it? could be playing in the Premier League, they could. Genuinely, they yeah. could be playing in the Luton. Premier League. If it wasn't for that injury, um, if it was, <laughs> if it wasn't for that injury, Jack Butland had an international game against Germany when he was like on the. Yeah, ascent. that was it. That yeah. was really. He, 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 was, he was. He was on the. Ascent, we, he wasn't we he? lost yeah. on our percentage. Fair play to Celtic. Um, we think that Man City might win the league by Christmas. Uh, Celtic tend to have won the league by the time you're still in your speedos, well, putting the Amber yeah. Soleil on, aren't they? Amber Soleil. So they did lose to Kilmarnock the other week, so. They did it for a They do it, they do it on purpose, Will. Yeah, yeah, but it's cut. some sort of signs there that yeah. all was not right on the yeah. ship. <laughs> um, all right, lads, quiz time. Um, you know I'm worried about this quiz because he is a little swat. He's a little sweat. He is incredibly. I was good last week though. when it comes to this sort of stuff. So I, I think we might have a. a He's a bit like yeah. Allcott, isn't he? He's I could get his cup from the same cloth. I could get a zero like Watto here. I could get yeah. a zero you like Watto. Come on, quiz time. Link. You are the weakest link. Gemini, are you ready? You've got 10 questions, 10 questions only. It's fastest finger first. You know how it works. Let's go, baby. We are ready. Right, question one. What club did Carlo Ancelotti manage? No, that, that's, You're right, you're that's, fine. That's, Carry on. He's getting emotional. Oh, we got it. We got the gist of it. We got the gist of it. It's fine. What club did Carlo Ancelotti manage before Chelsea? Real Madrid. No. Uh, AC Milan. Correct. I was going to say PSG and I would have been wrong. Those cards are quite low, Jamie. Oh, here oh, we go. Just I don't, I don't, that's I don't, the quiz. That's Brilliant. Need to cheat. Do we take that one off then? Or? No, 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 it's all oh, good. It's I all good. Okay. He was the manager before. In fact, I, I, I'm disgusted that I would be associated with the word cheat. Well. <laughs> he was the manager between 2001 and 2009. Well done. I was going, wow. to, read that. I was going to read that, but I think it would be too <laughs> obvious. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Question two. Which former Wickham, Norwich, and Villa manager won the Champions League? Martin Ooh, you need a BAR on that. No, because they're both incorrect. Oh, yes! What? Yes! Did he did manage Wickham. Wickham and Norwich. Um, right, now just calm it down, yeah, and read this out slowly, yeah? Which former Wickham, Norwich, and Villa manager won the Champions League as a player with Borussia Dortmund in the 96-97 season? Oh, I know it. Do we come back in if he gets No, it? no, we can't. Oh, my God, I know it and I can't fucking remember his name. I know it and I can't remember his name. English? I know he's English. He's not, he's like Scottish, actually. Oh, yeah. you do know who he yeah, is. Yeah, first name Ian. Is. Five. Four. No, what do you mean five, yes. Jamie? Three. That's a Three. dick move and you know it. That's bang out of order. We've got homes to go, to. Got, we've all got homes oh, to go he's to. Scottish. He's Scottish. It's got to be 2-1 now. No, there it is. isn't 2-1 now. It is... Um, Charlie Morgan. Charlie Morgan. What? One. Charlie Come on. Morgan. Not Charlie Morgan, oh. you dickhead. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Paul Lambert. Yes, Paul. Correct. He doesn't get Paul a point, Lambert. though. No. no. he doesn't get a point, no. He didn't say it. How can he? No, you, I mean. Oh, no, yeah. No. I think I loved the way we went Martin O'Neill and wanted VAR because they has managed all three of those clubs. <laughs> and he's a Champions League And he's a European with... Cup winner. Yeah. There we go. Sorry, Lambo. How, what are the chances of that? Why are they that? Right, come on, Constance. Question three. Last season in the Champions League, who was the top goal scorer? Lewandowski. No. Ah! It's got to be Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland is the correct answer. I was going to say, they won the fucking game. They won the, they won the whole lot. He, can't, he, he scores at Tesco. I couldn't even think he won the Champions League then, yeah, honestly. Yeah, very, he was very won forgettable. The treble. I couldn't very, even think he won the Champions League. Very forgettable. Uh, <laughs> he scored 12 goals. Bloody hell. I'm not surprised. He's good. Question number four. Which recently promoted Premier League side got their first point of the season? Sheffield United! United. You're such a weasel twat! Thanks for accepting that. That's my nickname. Huh? Weasel. I'm so oh, the twat. 
Sheffield United is the correct answer. So good, Four questions. I've, I've, I've got my game because Will's here. What's the score? 3-0. Three, 3-0. Nil. Three, three, nil. I know, yeah, I bet you right up. You're useless at this. It's a long gold quiz, mate. <laughs> it's a long gold quiz. Marathon, not sprint. <laughs> what who's better than him? <laughs> Sorry, what Oh, dang. I've been called cool some things in my time. Still got six. Grey socks, left. that still hurts. <laughs> Question number five. Who is the only player to win a golden boot and has played for two teams that season? Eto. No. Teddy Sheringham. Correct. <laughs> Oh, a golden Teddy. boot. I was thinking a lot better. Sharing them. That's yep. a, not in the forest and Tottenham. Yep. Not in the forest and Tottenham. What season? Uh, it would be the 90, 2002 season. Huh? 2001. 90, 90, 90, 90, 91. 96. 92, 93. Oh, my God. And he scored God. 22. Oh, it was two. Oh, wow. 3 um, yeah, 1 now. He must have scored most of his goals. For, for what, is this a themed yeah. quiz then? Is it like a nostalgia quiz we're doing today? Is it? Like, John Barnes yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Paul Lambert. Yeah, because we're diverse. Old people watch this. Yeah. So three, one. They're people too. Yeah. <laughs> Wish they wouldn't. Question number six. Which player has the most left-footed goals in Premier League history? Ryan Giggs. No. Oh, I mean, what the... F the only one that... Gareth Bale. No. Fuck! Sorry. The only one that comes That's to my time. mind, and it won't be him, is Robbie Fowler. Is that it your is. answer? Yeah. It is. It's Robbie Fowler. It's incorrect. Gareth, ba Gareth Barry. Mo Salah. Oh. He broke the record when he scored more than 107 Top. goals, breaking Robin Fowler's record. Huh? Top Robin, Fowler. Robin Fowler. I like it. I like it. James. Robbie Fowler record. How, how topical do you want it? Because that was like two days ago. Yeah, that's fair. Too old for you? Was it when Ian Rush? <laughs> so Stanley Matthews. 3 1 0. Yeah. Question seven Career path. I have played for Brighton. Newport County on loan, Peterborough United on loan, Leeds United on loan, Arsenal permanent. Ben White. Correct. Well done. Yeah. You're off the mark. OK, now we're playing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good answer. I was going to say Trozard. It's <laughs> good. Got three questions left here. Still. Yeah. Can happen, anything can happen. Yeah, anything anything, can, anything happen. can happen. Unless I get one right. Yeah. Question eight. Harry Redknapp relegated which team before taking a job to manage their rival club. Southampton. Southampton is the correct answer. I watched the bloody... It was on the telly, wasn't it? There was a programme about it recently. You know what we do? We need to change the format of this so we all write it down because he, he, he's, he, he can hear it quicker. Because he's yeah. next to you, yeah, he can hear it. Right, he travels week, to his also, ear. Next yeah, week, true, I'm sitting, I've I'm never, never sat here. What, what income you can't I'm, hear it. I've never sat here. and it, uh, yeah. I'm swapping that. And that's just basic science. Yeah, uh, he got the answer before he'd even heard the question. <laughs> What chance have we? Got? I was still on question six. I reckon the loser has to wear a dunce hat next week. Yeah. yeah. How many have you got? One. Okay. <laughs> Four, one, one. How many questions left? Uh, you've got two more. Oh, I'll sit back and relax. Would you like Again. a little. Um, he got relegated. Uh, he relegated Southampton in 2004 05 season, then rejoined Portsmouth next. Yeah, I watched the team. I it's couldn't good. give a turn. Watch, watch telly. Educate yourselves. <sighs> it's called an education. Get off, your, get off TikTok. Education. Get off TikTok. Next question number nine. Who was the only home team not to score this game week? Chelsea. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so I, all I Correct. got was who was, and then he's answering. Yeah. I can't hear a wow. thing over here. Wow. I, I do don't watch a lot of football. I'm sort of, it's sort of my job. Question <sighs> ten. Who was the quickest manager to reach 50 Premier League wins? Pep Guardiola. No. No, it's not. It was Jose Mourinho. Thank you very much. Good night. Wow. Wow. It was Jose Marino and it took him 63 games to reach. What's that? that? That must be my best score, yeah. Uh, was that? 6-1-1. Six, six, one, one. One, one. Devastating. Absolutely. I'm, I'm the Man City of the quiz. For one week? No, it's, every, it's every week. It's boring. It's every week. Sat here, you can't hear anything. I'm changing position. I'm, I'm actually, I think, Some sort of like I think I might sit outside and hear it from outside the window <laughs> next week. I think that window's open as well. There's a lot of noise and chatter coming from yeah. there. Have you got a bonus question? I've got two. I've give got give two me one for just me and Will, just to see who's the worst of the worst. Little dunce off. No, what, yeah, see who comes second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you want, last, do you want to choose which one? No. This is whether Will comes back ever again or not, by the way. Wow. <laughs> it's that big. <laughs> okay. And your spot on my podcast is up for grabs as well. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> Jamie <laughs> wants to work on a podcast. <laughs> my whole career's on this. Right, question 11. Bonus question. Which club is the only club in Premier League history to lose 9 0 on two occasions? Nine. Wigan. No. Ipswich? No. No. What? No, both incorrect. Who is it? Southampton. Southampton. 
I've lost 9 0 to Manchester United in 2021. You and Leicester in We're 2019. We're so bad. We're We're having brutal. a bad day today. Uh, oh, last one, last one. I've got one more question. This this is how bad it is. We're having to go into the... I've got that the, one right. How it's many players right. start... <laughs> <laughs> Name a player. It's quite a difficult question. I don't, <laughs> Name I don't any know. Name any player you guys get this. <laughs> that's played football. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I'm going to get this one. I mean, he's giving me grief now. Question 12. Which club has received the most yellow cards in history in a single Premier League Season oh, for the most yellow cards in the season. I know. It's pathetic. I mean, this is just like well, it's not a, like a, it's just an educated guess. Everton. No. It's pathetic. Villa. No. Stoke or Wimbledon. No. Oh. Man United. No. Birmingham. Arsenal. Birmingham. No. No. Crystal Palace. No. <laughs> Norwich. Chelsea. No. Doncaster. Leeds. Correct. Yeah. Dirty I win. Leeds. Dirty no, Leeds. you don't win because Dirt. I got Southampton, so it's actually two-two. Do you want to guess the amount of yellow cards they got in that season? 521. The, the, closest, the closest wins. Closest wins. How many yellow cards? 106. Will? 107. No, you should have gone lower. 101 yellow cards. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, so I've lost yeah. That was in the 2020 He's lost everything. Season. He's lost everything. Lost everything. That's a good guess, that, isn't it? I did. I, I, that's a good guess. Yeah, calm down. You've, you've won the dunce off. Calm yeah. down. He's yeah. so excited. He's so excited that he's won. Get the, in come there. Come second in the three man quiz. It means yeah. so much to me, though. Get oh. in there. Winner signs off. Um, yeah. yeah, go on. Winner signs off. Thank you, Matt. I was falling asleep with that. I won so <laughs> long ago. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. Another win for me. I will. I think I need to start. You know, start, probably start around question four next. Yeah, you start in that seat there. That seat. that seat right there. Thanks for watching the football filling. You're very welcome. See ya. Will was not saying anything. <laughs> Devastated. <laughs> nice one. Where's stupid little shot?